good morning i am dr sophia rajesh radiation oncologist let's see about pap smear test in detail today what is this pap smear this is a test usually done for screening cervical cancer which is one of the most common cancer among the women so who should be ideally taking this test any women about 21 years of age and less than 65 years of age between this age group they are supposed to go for a regular cervical cancer screening modality how frequently they should be taking once in 3 years between the age 21 to 29 anybody above 30 years of age can opt for either a pap smear test every 3 years or along with the pap smear if we are doing a hpv dna testing then you can do it once in 5 years so if you combine the two modality screening is enough if you do once in 5 years if you are not combining and you are opting for only pap smear you have to get it screened every 3 years until 65 years of age so how is this test done usually it is done as an opd procedure there is no need for a hospital in stay or observation post to procedure there is no need usually take an appointment with your gynecologist or any general specialist can go ahead with the procedure so pre- take an appointment so that prior to the procedure 24 hours you are not supposed to have any sexual intercourse or any vaginal douching or any spermicidal solution applied to your vagina should be absolutely avoided before 24 hours and this test should not be taken during menstruation or ideally post menstruation after fifth day you can go ahead taking this test so that your test results are easy for interpretation and other changes should not interfere with the interpretation so this pap smear test takes 5 to 10 minutes of duration only and it is a painless procedure usually the test is done in a lithotomy position so your gynecologist or your any consultant will make you lie down in an opd and they will visualize your cervix with the help of a speculum and usually there will be no pain just mild discomfort might be there during the procedure they will use a small spatula or a brush they will rotate it a 360 degree or one full swing of circle so that they take a mild scraping of your cervical cells they smear it on a slide for to be examined under microscope later or they will insert the brush into a uh, bottle of solution so that the cells get dispersed and later it will be used for examining the cells so it can be done either way directly as a smear or directly as a cytology so both the cell uh, test will take only 5 minutes and it doesn't make a big difference most recently they use pap cytology in most of the hospitals this result interpretation will you will get roughly around 24 hours after so once the results are come so how these results will be given to you either as a negative if there is no abnormal cell changes then the result will be negative then you will be asked to repeat the test after 3 years for example if there are any changes what are the changes you could expect either there will be some chronic inflammatory or acute inflammatory changes in the cell so it means some amount of infection is going on in your cell level so they will prescribe you with some antibiotic or antifungal to take care of the inflammation other than that it can be reported as mild moderate or severe dysplastic changes so these dysplastic changes also can be kept under observation usually these changes will revert back to normal after some days so if there are any dysplastic changes prescribing medications your doctor will ask you to come for a repeat follow up they will repeat the test and they will check whether these changes have reverted back or not or you are progressing or some reports might come as carcinoma in situ so this what is this carcinoma in situ it is a pre 
uh, invasive cancer condition so invasive cancer is something gone deep and it is likely to be treated as a cancer this invasive ca in situ carcinoma can be dealt easily with a, a simple surgical procedures like uh, trachelectomy or simple hysterectomy based on the uh, depth or severity like in situ carcinoma can be three types CIN 1, 2 and 3 so the treatment differs for each staging so these are the reports you can expect out of a pap smear either an inflammation or dysplastic changes or some in situ carcinomatous changes are expected out of it so if there is any suspicion of in situ carcinoma versus invasive carcinoma they will go for a colposcopy in colposcopy they will repeat the biopsy they will take a small chunk of tissue rather than the scrapping from the lesion and they will submit it for again examination so based on the results they will proceed with the treatment so some people might have a doubt if i am pregnant should i undergo the test no during pregnancy usually they will not suggest with the pap smear test post pregnancy approximately 24 weeks after pap smear test could be taken the postpartum cell changes have to get settled then only you have to go for the pap smear test so it's a simple op painless opd procedure which can be done easily and you can protect yourself from getting a carcinoma cervix or diagnosing the cancer in the early stage with the help of this pap smear or pap cytology i hope I have given a clear message to all the women in this video. If you have any queries regarding the test, drop in the comment section your queries. I will be answering the questions. Please like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.